Hey, I'm Brock Bell here with Swasu Athletics. I have Connor Bays here with me, junior strong safety. Connor, uh, appreciate it. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. Now, you guys had a great season so far, regular season and things of that sort. Now, you guys have made it on to this bowl game, something a little different for uh, Swasu football. Haven't made the postseason in quite a while. What's something that uh, you guys have done maybe a little bit different this week in preparation for this? Uh, we're just really uh, trying to treat it like a normal game. I mean, it is different. It's a bowl game. Uh, we're more excited for that. You know, it's been a long time since Swasu, and it's the first time we've ever, uh, the players, any of us have ever made it to anything postseason. So we try to keep it as normal as possible. At the same time, we're excited about it. Now, uh, throughout this whole season, you've had great individual success, uh, over 100 tackles, uh, several interceptions, pass breakups, things like that, even a touchdown in there. Uh, what, what have you done maybe different this year than you have done in years past, per se, to help you progress? Uh, I think the main thing would be our, our coaches just putting us in the right spots, and then the linebackers and D-line, and they just really eliminate all the blocks, and so it's easy for me to come up and make a tackle, and I I'm on block pretty much. So it really just all the uh, other players really just doing their jobs and the coaches just putting it in the right spots. Now, uh, the, they're pretty, the UCO, they're pretty evenly matched up running and passing wise. Now, uh, Clay McKenzie, he's uh, one of their good running backs, and TJ Eckert, he's a receiver as well. They both had a phenomenal season so far, and you're always involved in both pass and run game very, very much. Seems like we're always calling your name on the radio and stuff. Now, what's something? that you guys are necessarily going to key on to, to stop those two guys? Uh, we feel like our run defense has been pretty good all year. I mean, every played Harding, all the teams we've played that uh, really run the ball, we've always held, or we've held them to below their averages and stuff, and that's something we really take pride in. So that'll be something, again, we do against UCO, hopefully. Now, you mentioned that your run defense has just been phenomenal. And it, one thing that's really stood out to me is your red, do red zone defense. You guys, it seems like. You know, all defensive coaches, they preach that uh, bend but don't break mentality, and you guys have really, really put that on this year. What's something you guys do individually and uh, as a group to come together and, you know, really just kind of stay on your ground there in the red zone? Well, we have, like, our, our, our defensive, uh, well, kind of our slogan, which is swarm, just everybody running to the ball, and that's really something that everybody's really uh, gotten a hold of and really just put it at heart, just swarm, everybody running to the ball, everybody going 100% every play. Now, you being a, an Edmond native, is it, uh, is it weird at all for you to come in and uh, as your school play, you know, kind of your hometown school, I guess you would say, in UCO? Mm -hmm. uh, I guess a little bit. I don't know. I didn't really get recruited by UCO or anything, so I don't, I don't really have any ties to them. But uh, since we don't ever get to play them, it's kind of nice to get to play them and hopefully beat them. Yeah, definitely. It's, uh, it's kind of sort of a, a rivalry for Southwestern and UCO. Uh, a little different having to having to travel a little ways. Both of you guys being so close together, is there is there anything that just kind of motivates you and, and gets you going a little more, knowing especially it's a postseason game mm -hmm. and uh, last game of the season. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think just it being a postseason game, we don't want to lose our last game after having such a good year, and uh, you know we haven't been a postseason game forever. We definitely want to win when we get there. So I think that's just the main thing. Uh, definitely, uh, probably going to be. A little nerves in there mm -hmm. with it being a postseason game as always. What was something you guys have done? You really just kind of turned things on there towards the end of the season. You guys have won six straight so far. How have you guys kept that momentum and uh, those butterflies to a minimum? Uh, I don't know how to keep the butterflies. I guess just once the game's going they kind of go away but really just our coaches do so much film work and everything and we just stick with the game plan and uh, they've pretty much every game that just had a good game plan to stop the other team. Now so far Connor, what, what's something that has just stood in your mind throughout this whole season that was kind of like a turning point for you guys, per se, that really just got you guys going on that win streak? Uh, I'd say probably our offensive play. Uh, in the past years, we always, haven't always had the best offense and uh, done the best things. And this year, our offense is playing, uh, I don't know, it's just it's an ordinary that how well they've been playing. And that's just really helped the defense out a lot. It gets us going when our offense scores and stuff. Yeah, especially talking about the offense. You guys, uh, they've done a great job this season so far. And how do you think you guys benefit from having a good offense like that to see during practice and get different looks uh, from all those different types of receivers and backs and uh, the great quarterback Mark Evans mm -hmm. you guys have? It helps us out a lot. I mean, going against those guys during the week, there's not many guys out there in the conference that are better than them. They're some of the best out there. So going against them, it's just, it challenges us and makes us better. 
Now, you've uh, gotten some individual awards and things like that now that the, the regular season over. Explain what, what all have you gotten and what do those awards mean to you? Uh, I got the second team all-conference for safety and then I got, the, uh, I got nominated for the uh, Cliff Harris Award and then I also got uh, the Oklahoma Sports Net first team. That's some of the, some of the things, I mean, the all-conference thing, I guess, kind of talking throughout the year. You don't really talk about it very much, but I kind of knew some, something was coming. Um, but the other two, I, I didn't really know about them, and they, so those were more of a surprise. Yeah, is that, is that something that you take as, as pride, or do you just kind of put those things to the side? You know, you're happy that you got them, but you got to move on. you got to keep on getting better. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely not just me that earned it. It's the whole defense, really. I mean, my name, I guess, gets the acknowledgement, but our defense as a whole just played so well this year. And you just get awards from you know team success, so that's kind of the main thing. I kind of just take it, you know, don't take it for granted. It's an awesome thing, but our team earned it. Well, this is uh, here with Connor Bays. Connor, I appreciate it very much. Thank Thanks you. for giving us your time and good Thanks luck this me. week. Okay. And I'm here with DJ Jones. We're going to talk a little football. DJ, I appreciate you giving me your time today. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Now, uh, to start it off here, like I've talked about with uh, Connor just a second ago, you guys have had a great regular season offensively. Now, there's been a few uh, bumps there you guys have had there towards the beginning of the season, but you guys really, towards the middle, you guys just kind of turned it around and things just seemed to really be clicking with you guys. Uh, what, what was the turning point for you guys, in your opinion, on that offensive side? Um, I think just coming together as a team, um, you know, knowing that we had something to fight for. Um, we have this bowl game coming up. We knew that it was either this or the playoffs, so I think we, we had our defense rolling and we wanted to give them some help. So we had to come together as a team and, and, and bring the, the family together, and I think that's what, what kind of brought us around. Now, you got some individual awards also. Uh, first team all-conference, I'll name one of them. Uh, explain to me, what other awards did you get uh, individually on the offensive side of football? Um, I received honorable mention as um, the receiver for all-conference, and then I got second team for the Oklahoma Sports Net. Um, so those are the two other two that I got. Now, you being heavily involved in the offensive game, being an inside, that, uh, that inside receiver and doing a little back running at times, and also being very involved with the special teams, kickoff return and punt return. Uh, in your opinion, which do you like more, seeing, uh, seeing some green grass right as you cut out of that out route and take it upfield, do you like taking a return back? Uh, I think special teams probably gets uh, more excitement to the game. So I think um, if you can take back a kick, it'll change the momentum of the game. But, I mean, both ways, if you get in the end zone, you get in the end zone. So I like I like it however I get it. A touchdown's a touchdown. Right? Yeah, a touchdown. there you go. Now, uh, what's, what's something you guys – really going to focus on offensively going up against uh, a good UCO defense there. They're pretty sound all around against the running game and the passing game. What's one thing you guys got to key on and, uh, or you individually that, that you see with their defense that you guys can take advantage of? Just being able to, to keep drives going, you know, and put points up at the end of a drive. Um, we try to limit three and outs, keep our defense off the field as much as we can. Um, and just, like I said, try to get points on the board. Um, every drive, that's the main goal every game. Now, it seems like whenever you guys come out and you guys have a, a big hot start and you, you really put points on the board first and your offense is clicking, that seems to kind of get the defense going as well. What's something that you guys feed off of knowing, you know, we have a good offense. If we get things going right here, uh, it's going to kind of set the tone for the rest of the game. Definitely. Um, we know if we come put points on the board, our defense is likely to get a three and out. Um, which we'll be able to get the ball back and make something happen, hopefully. So I think um, just both of us, we feed off each other's energy, and that's, that's, that's what made us so good this year. Now, how important is it to you making it to this postseason first time, as Connor said, for a lot of you guys, for most of you guys? What's, what's something that you guys do different throughout the week uh, preparation-wise? Do you set some different goals, or do you just kind of try to take it just as another football game? Um, like you said, at, at the same time, it is another football game, but we know that it's the important one. You know, it's the most important game of the season so far, um, simply because Swasu hasn't been in, uh, in a bowl game. So um, I think that this, for the school and for the football team, for recruiting, everything, um, it's a big game that we need to win. Now, uh, UCO, it's, it's a big rivalry in some what's to say for Swasu. Uh, 
how much, how important is that with it being a bowl game and a rivalry game for, for you guys kind of give you a little extra momentum and extra boost on top of the six straight that you guys have already won? I think that's what made it more exciting. You know, I think that's why they chose this team to play us. Um, and a lot of team or a lot of players from our team didn't get recruited from UCO, so you know they have that chip on their shoulder. So I feel like that'll be a big a big juice for us. Of course. Now I know you and John talked about this earlier in the year. You got you and uh, several other players came from Menlo College. Uh, Explain to me again what that was like for you guys, what kind of transition and uh, maybe even a little setback it felt like to you because I feel like that would be tough, you know, at a program that just that just goes out and you have to go somewhere else and kind of start new again. Yeah, it definitely was a rough transition, um, but the players and the coaches and everybody at the school, they made it a lot easier than we expected, you know. So when we came on our visit, um, we enjoyed the company that the people gave us, the hospitality and everything. So I think that kind of made it a little more easier for us to come over and, and just do what we do. Now, you individually and the guys that you came with, was there things that you did to, you know, kind of keep yourself upbeat, keep the mood right, keep a good attitude about all those things? Um, definitely. I think we, we came together, you know, um, the four of us. We, um, we, we struggled, like I said, at the beginning, and then when we figured out, oh, we can go to the same school and, and compete in football, I have a good chance to do something big, um, I feel like that. That's what took us over the top. Now, with that, you guys, with you being a California guy, what, how is it playing in this uh, this cold weather, man? Uh, oh, man? You just experienced that little ice storm that we had over the Thanksgiving break. Uh, is it different for you? Is there things that you know you got to do different as a football player, uh, per se, in California than it is here in uh, Oklahoma and things like that? Stay warm, you know, <laughs> however you can. At practice, you can ask all the guys. I'm layered up, you know, full sweatsuits, Under Armour's, everything that I can, um, that I can to stay warm. Um, but I think mentally, um, when we have this bowl game coming, I think we kind of cancel all of that out. But at the end of the day, it's not California weather, so you know we got a lot of things to get used to. Of course. Now, one thing that I've uh, I've noticed from you, you always give a great amount of effort, no matter what you're doing, offensively or uh, special teams wise. And, you know, most people, when they think football, they think, you know, you got to pass that eye test. you got to be six foot tall, weigh 200 pounds, run a, a 4 4 40. Now, you, you are very, very fast, but you really don't pass that eye test. Is that, is that something that's kind of held you back, or do you use that as like a motivator for people that say, you know, you can't be good if you're not this height or this weight? It's definitely a motivator. You know, I've, I've been hearing that my whole life, you know, so um, I think... Uh, Pretty much, I, I don't believe in that, you know, and I, I try to show it through my gameplay and um, through my stats and, and everything else, you know. Um, you don't have to be the biggest guy to be out there. Um, so I've always been taught that from growing up as a kid. You know, my dad always taught me, you don't have to be the biggest one to shine, you know. So all that you have to do is, is go out, work your hardest, I'll work the next person, no matter how big he is. So Now, uh, as I mentioned, you guys just got off of Thanksgiving break and... Uh, now, we're not going to see any speed decrease in you, are we? Uh, you didn't eat too much turkey over the break or anything? No, nah, I didn't eat too much, but I, w I did go to uh, to Watonga with Trayvon, so that was cool, you know, being able to, to go to a teammate's house and, and feel at home, you know, and not be, uh, I guess, stuck in, in our apartments up here. So I think it was good. I had a nice home-cooked meal, so that was good. Now, I always see uh, you and Trayvon on uh, Snapchat, Twitter, things like that. Uh, you guys are always having heated, heated Madden battles and things like that. And uh, he's even giving you a little grief about your Kobe <laughs> shorts today. I saw that. But what, how important is that, even especially you guys being on the opposite sides of the football, uh, you guys just being kind of just one brothers as a whole football team, like you said, getting to go to his house and just feeling at home. How important is that to, to have a good, well-meshed uh, relationship with your teammates? I think it's real important, you know. Um not only just offensive, defensive, special teams, but I think race plays a big factor in it. You know, you have to be uh, one with everybody on the team, you know, no, no matter what size, what color. Um, I feel like we all came together as a team, and that's kind of what helped us to get to where we are right now. Yeah, that's one thing that I've really noticed. You guys, uh, if one thing bad happens to another guy, you guys, there's always somebody there, There's always, no matter who it is, that, hey, man, pick your head up, you're fine, good job, still have a lot of the game to go. Uh, and that's one thing that, you know, separates some teams from another. 
is there something you do to try to step up to be a leader and help those guys out, or you just mostly let your play on the field? Yeah, I think I, I don't I don't do a lot of talking, at least um, to our teammates. You know, trash talking happens, you know, and everything. But um, I, I try to lead by example. You know, that's one of the things that I pride myself on. Um, I'm not much of a vocal leader, but if I need to, I can be at the same time. Uh, it's DJ Jones, running back and return specialist for the Swasu Bulldogs. DJ, I appreciate it. Thanks appreciate for your time, it. and uh, good luck next this week. Thank you. Appreciate you.